Well, for you people out there that know me, this could only happen to me. Done a lovely cruise, met some great people, visited some really lovely destinations, and uh, like an idiot, I missed the flight. Uh, I had one or two sherbets, and the arsehole decided that I wasn't fit enough to fly. Now, I know if you get pieces of pudding, then yeah, that's right, but I wasn't pieces of pudding. I'd had a few, but he was a musical old git, and he didn't like me for some reason, and he singled me out. And he says, you're not getting on a plane. So I come out without a bowl of bollocks, and say, look, my, my wife's over there, she'll vouch for me that I ain't been drinking hardly anything today. No, you're not fit to fly. I thought, you fucking arsehole, right? So that's all right. So another night in Cuba in Havana, lovely. So I got myself an hotel, nice little hotel. And I've uh, got a taxi driver to take me there and, and he tried to overcharge me. He started asking for silly money. So I turned around and said, no, 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 no. I asked for a hotel nearest the airport. Um, and he took me another 25 miles. And I kept telling him to pull over. And he said, no, I'm not pulling over. I said, you are gonna fucking pull over. I said, because I wanna get out. This is way, way far from the airport. Anyway, big row, shout him out. He wouldn't pull me over. He wouldn't pull over. He wouldn't let me out of the cab. Sort of hold me at a ransom almost. So I says, right, call the fucking old building. Okay? I says, call the police. So he did. He called the police. They arrived. And I went, right. And he went, and he listened to the cab driver first. And he started having an iron. And I says, no, he held me at a ransom. So anyway, cut a long story short. I got my own way. And he didn't rip me off. So got to the hotel, nice hotel another fucking 70 quid or whatever it was uh, and then for right okay so now it's today went back to the airport and I said uh, okay can you uh, I missed the last flight they wouldn't let me on I says can you um, put this on tonight's flight I mean, or can I go on standby or whatever and they went no you can't and I said what do you know I can't and they says because you booked through a cruise ship an agency we ain't gonna put you on the next flight so I said, all right, okay, so how much is it going to cost me to get back to London via Madrid? 1,175 US dollars. I thought you were having a Turkish, mate. So, uh, this goes from bad to worse. I tried every single airline in the airport, and there's no way they could do it. I was thinking of going via Mexico, via Miami, via New York, and all this. Now, my money's running out rapidly, and the longer I stay here, the less money I've got. So now, I've had to get another room, but this is really lovely. And uh, so I'm gonna stay here for one, maybe two nights. Depends if I can get a flight. Um, so now I'm thinking of going to the British Embassy to see if they can bung me some dosh. And um, so I can get home out of this place. But it's getting ridiculous, so I'll keep you informed. Never a dull moment with me. You know that, don't you? <laughs> I'll give you an update later on. You know that clip in trains, planes and automobiles where they, uh, where Steve Martin's just going back on his own on the train and uh, he starts to reminisce about the crazy weekend he had with John Candy? Well that's a little bit like me right now. Right, update. My Cuban friend has been on the phone to America, gracias. Um, and his girlfriend works for... Um, she worked for the airline or something. Anyway, so she sorted me out a, uh, a contact. So I've been down to Cuban Airlines and managed to get a flight for tomorrow morning, three o'clock in the morning, 488 Cook, which is probably about $450. So 400 quid. Better than 1175 So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to cool down a bit and get out of this fucking sweatshop. I'm going to do my fucking editing. Well, anyone speaks bloody English, can't get Wi Fi anywhere, uh, and it stinks to fucking my heaven. So, Cuba, not for me. Goodbye. I don't fucking believe it. I've just been to a nice hotel, and they said, Yes, they got Wi Fi. I've been walking halfway through, halfway through bloody Havana trying to find a bloody Wi Fi. Oh, yeah, at the corner, at the corner, let's see, he done all that old bollocks. Fucking got there, it's still nothing. So now I've been sent up the bloody road to get a Wi Fi card from the market and then I can go back there and use it in the hotel. It's gonna cost me four and a half fucking uh, kook. 
and whatever you hold up they get splattered so am I fucking looking here and uh so uh yeah it might be fucking full of nice old cars like this one for example but at the end of the day it's fucking shit fucking shit bags now it's pissing down the rain so I've soaked through and uh and they were trying to rip me off to get a cab back to the fucking airport. Uh, I've got down here for five dollars and they're trying to charge me thirty. The cheapest I've got was fifteen. I take them right fucking piss this lot. Not only are they fucking fat, they also stink and they don't even speak fucking English. Absolute bastards, a lot of them. Uh, no one gives a fuck, they're not helpful, you know what I mean? You know, we're the fucking backbone of the economy, we are. Fucking them wankers ripping us off. These places that should be living in fucking palaces of gold. What a fucking shit ass, delicate fucking shit. Fucking wank of things they've got, you know what I mean? Fucking get it right on my fucking todger. Bastards, update later. Fuck off. Right, so I've finally got a lift to the airport to book my flight home, which leaves at 4 o'clock in the morning. I am now in a 1951 Dodge. There you go. 1951 Dodge. Lovely job. Right. So get this, I've just spent five giggles or whatever, yeah, well, I have to on. and uh, on an internet card, which only lasts a bloody hour. Within that hour, I've been searching all these different flights, American Airlines, Kiwi, the bloody lot. And I found one, and I thought this might be quite funny. It's only going to take about 22, 23 hours, um, only. Um, and it's going from Havana to uh, Charlotte, from Charlotte, to Orlando, from Orlando to um, Brussels, and then Brussels into the smoke, right? $580 or something. I don't mind paying that. Uh, it's a long way round. I thought, no, fuck it, I'll book it. I was just about to book it, and no, the credit didn't run out. What happened was only hand baggage. They don't take any fucking credit cards. They don't take any cash. You see, they've got any machines out here at all. They said, I've got to go back into Havana, which is another $30, uh, which, is, by the way, is shut now. Go in there, and even then they don't take cash, so what's the point in that? Uh, I need to wait till midnight to get more money out. I can do that, but I still haven't got enough. So I have to stay here for another day, just so I can get the fucking money out to get out of this fucking shithole. Fuck knows, I should have gone to the British Embassy. It's fucking doing my fucking brain in. Bloody con from that fucking woman to buy this card and it won't work unless I go airside and I can't get airside unless I've got an airline ticket so I've got to go back to Havana which is half an hour away find a hotel that's fucking got it or I plead and plead and get my fucking hands and knees and pray that one, some of the supervisors in there will let me go airside so I can buy yeah, don't mind me love so I can buy uh, so I can fucking get online it's, fuck it I can't believe this they're so fucking rude I hope they will fucking die of some old disease that's fucking Cuban after fucking three and a half horrendous fucking days in this godforsaken stinky fucking hellhole full of fat, flatulent, rude, arrogant, nasty, fucking heath. <coughs> Can't even say that word. But absolute see you next Tuesday. Honest to God, very fucking rude, unhelpful, smelly, farty, scabby, fucking sweaty fucking ears everything fucking hairs all in the wrong fucking place sticking out sprouting out of their fucking fingernails they're just fucking horrible fucking loads of bastards honestly they are they're fucking horrible don't ever come to Cuba it's shit they're unhelpful the place fucking stinks it's full of rats dead dogs and dead chickens and dead cats fucking awful place alright so seriously avoid the like the fucking plague because if you don't you'll fucking end up with a plague trust me of that I'll end up fucking killing someone with the plague. Don't do it. My nightmare is now over. Thank you.